everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom, and today we are going to do a Walmart shopping share. I am also going to put the clearance items with this, um, oh, with this video. I typically do them separate, but, hmm, it's getting to the point where I don't have enough of either one. So we're just going to make it one big one. I'll put it down in the title if you're, that's why you're thinking, Wait a minute, is it Walmart shopping share or is it clearance? It's going to be both. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started, okay? I needed some vanilla at um, to make some chocolate chip cookies. At Aldi's, the vanilla was outrageous because all they had was pure vanilla. I've never bought pure vanilla for cookies. I've always bought the imitation. So I just picked up the original Goodman's. And it is a three fluid ounce and it is 218. This stuff's not cheap. Not cheap. I wonder if you could refrigerate this to keep it fresh longer. Let me know down in the comments. You guys would know. Uh, Scott requested some chili cheese Fritos. Uh, this is the biggest bag I could find. Nine ounces. And these were 298. He also requested a family size package of his favorite cookie, Pecan Sandies. And these are $3.56. He is very loyal to Keebler Pecan Sandies. He said he's tried all the cheap ones and he don't like them. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> And then we wanted some chicken fried steak this week. Well, I make it the easy way. I couldn't even tell you how to make it by hand. But I always got Tyson because it was pretty reasonable price and we could get two or three meals out of it. My Walmart has been running out of everything here lately. I mean, frozen vegetables, meat. Not fresh meat, you know, the processed kind that, you know, we're not supposed to eat. They didn't have any more Tyson's, so I had to get the Fast Fixins. And it comes with the gravy mix. Well, I won't use that. I like the, um, I think it's called Old South or Southern Mills gravy mix. That's what I use. But I'll divide this up so we'll get a couple of meals. But this was $6.98. It's very upsetting to me because Tyson I think is only $4.98 then um, had to get some more I'm reaching behind you guys had to get some more hash browns so I just picked up the great value kind for Scott he does not care for the all these hash browns that's okay these are only $2.24 a package oh I hope yeah I did okay I was looking at his coffee creamer. Excuse me, everyone. Here's another brand. He only will drink Coffee Mate. He will not drink the Great Value or anything. He says he's tried it, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll get him to get over there. <laughs> he is a very brand loyal person on most everything. But I just, oh, about every two weeks, I pick him up a big one for $4.98. You used to be able to pick them up for like $2.98, but that was years ago. Okay, then I needed some window cleaner or glass cleaner. Forgot to get it at the Dollar Tree. But I ran out completely, so I just went ahead and picked up the great value kind for $1.98. I, yeah, I did. I forgot. Ugh. Then I needed some of these disinfectant wipes for um, some of the things I'm finding at auctions and thrift stores and stuff to put up on eBay. And uh, once in a while you just want to give them a little bit of a wipe down. <laughs> because, yeah, I'm looking for vintage items and you just never know where those vintage items have been. Especially from an estate auction. Uh, 35 wipes for... $1.83. I didn't think that was too bad. I also needed some magic erasers, so I got a three-pack Mr. Clean for a $2.94. Um, a tree, I can't remember if you get a one two-pack or not. 
this is purely for my auction and thrift store finds. I don't really need it in the house anymore because we don't have little ones and, you know, it, I usually can get to a mess before it becomes a problem, but we do have to have it for things that we're going to resell. Um, $2.94. Anyway, you guys let me know down below if the Dollar Tree is better or the same and if it comes in a one pack or a two pack because if it come if it comes in a two pack and they're just as good as these guys but these guys are two times stronger so let me know but if they're just as good let me know and I'll, I'll start getting them there okay Twyla absolutely loves owls she does so I'm going to make her a couple of sofa pillows out of this tea towel see it says hello and it's got the little teal yeah they're kind of teal I would call that teal owls and I'm gonna make her some sofa pillows for her um, new apartment and I'm gonna put them under the tree of course <laughs> she's not moving till next year but that's okay uh, and those that tea towel was a dollar ninety six then Scott needed new razors, and he prefers the Gillette Sensor 2s. And I always pick him up a 7 or 12 pack for $7.97. I got a case of Sam's Choice Cola. I'm not going to pick it up. That was $5.46. And then I got myself a just a plain old firm pillow for $5.88. It's a I'm not picky on pillows. I tried to get one of those, um, they kind of have a curve and it's supposed to be like memory foam, but that thing squishes down. It doesn't stay firm. And next thing you know, I'm sleeping like this, you know, and I didn't care for it. So I use it for my knees. <laughs> but I'm not real picky after all, I think, over my pillows. So I just picked up one of these guys. It's just one of the mainstays. And it is the extra firm pillow for back and side sleepers, and that's what I am. Oh, it feels pretty good, but they are $5.88. All right, let's show you what I got on clearance, because I did get quite a bit of clearance this week. Okay, these I really thought were interesting, and um, they have an expiration date. Uh, well, this one is May 20th of 2020. The original price was $1.58. I got them for $0.75. Cents. And what it is, it's called Minute Corn. And it's corn on the cob that you microwave. So for $0.75, cents, I picked up three. Three of them. And you put them in your pantry or whatever. You put them up with your canned goods. And we're going to try them for three or for 75 cents, I picked up three of them. Scott loves corn on the cob. I don't prefer it. I chop mine off the corn cob, but because I, you know, I don't want to get all messy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> now this was a heck of a deal. Original price was 114. I got them for 50 cents. The only downfall is they are no salt added. So I'm going to have to remember to add salt, but I, for veg all, mixed vegetables, that is a wonderful price, 50 cents, wonderful price, and, uh, oh, my nose was itchy. It's about that time for us to start having some hamburger soup, so I picked up four of these just to keep on hand. That's two meals of vegetable soup for us. So yeah, good deal. Scott's not a big pea eater. He will eat them, but he won't eat too many of them. And I found these for 25 cents and uh, they were 98 cents. Once again, no salt added. And they're just the small cans, just enough for me and a little bit for him or Twyla if she happens to be home and eating with us. Um, but yeah, perfect. And their expiration date is March 9th of 2022. 
I'll just have to remember to add a little bit of salt. No big deal. 2022, why are they on clearance? The veg all is 2021. Well, we'll have them eight, eight before 19 is gone. <laughs> then I want to try this. I tried one in the past for my Keurig and I couldn't get it to work. So I found this one and I paid full price for that one. And this one's full price was $4.96. I paid $1.25. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see if I can get it to work. I couldn't get it to poke through. So I think I might get a needle or a straight pen and go ahead and start the little hole at the bottom where the needle pokes through the cup. I'll see. I'll see what I need to do. But I'm going to give it another go for $1.25. That'd sure be cheaper than buying K-Cups. Then I found these. These looked interesting to me. They were $2.50. I got them for $1.50. And they are the Whole Cuts Sea Salt Vinegar. I didn't look at the expiration date. And by the way, I'm almost done with those peas that I bought a few weeks ago. <laughs> I told you they wouldn't last long. <laughs> oh, May 18th of 2019. Well, they're past. I didn't see these in last week's clearance. I'm taking these back because that is really a long way back. They shouldn't have those on the shelf. That That's too far back. Yeah, that's too far. And they had several of those bags. Picked up more of these. My son came over the other day and ate them all and then took the last bag of them home with him. Uh, smokehouse sausage sticks, the hot and spicy. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six sticks. And then I got the teriyaki. And you get six sticks. And these were $2 a bag. I don't know how much they regularly were because these were the only ones that didn't have a price tag on them. Then I found these for Twyla. They're going to go in her Christmas um, stocking thing. She collects My Little Ponies. She doesn't play with them or anything, but she collects them. And I found these Finder Keepers. They're chocolates with the little mini My Little Pony inside. And I got her two of them. These were only 50 cents. And they are good until August of 2020. So these are going to be put away in the freezer down in the basement where she never goes. and Or in the garage. And they'll be good until Christmas. And I don't have to worry about them getting somewhere hot where they're going to melt. Then I found these. And these were only 25 cents. And what they are is they are a fidget pop candy. See? And these things in here, I don't, I think they're suckers, is what they are. I think they're suckers. But I picked up eight of them. I got three different colors. I got a teal and yellow. And this is Raz Lemonade. I think they're suckers. So I got teal and yellow, Raz Lemonade. I got watermelon and I got cherry. Like I said, they're fidget, one of those like fidget spinner things. And that's the only flavors they had, but I picked up eight, eight of these. I have nine grandchildren, but the baby won't be, he won't be eating this stuff. Um, <clears throat> in fact, he won't be old enough to even get a treat in his stocking. He'll only be four months old. And his mama has made it quite clear we are waiting to feed him until the doctor recommends it. Okay. <laughs> and then she said she's skipping baby food altogether. She's just going to make her own. And then the last last thing that I got was these bags of Sweet Tart Mini Chews. And you get six ounces. 
and they do not, I checked every single one of them, they do not expire until May of 2020. I picked up eight bags, but what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to get those see-through Christmas bulbs, and I am going to wash them out, of course, and then put these inside of the Christmas bulbs, and then I'm going to... Oh, gosh, that might be too big. I was going to cut out the name and laminate it and kind of like put it on the little hangy thing for the kids so they would know that they were sweet tarts. I might go ahead and do that. I could make two words out of it. Yeah, I'm kind of going to make a sweet tart ornament for my grandchildren. <laughs> I need to make eight of those. So, yeah, I picked up eight bags, and that's what I have planned for these. I guarantee you they will be eaten before they even leave the house. That is it, everybody. That's all I got at my local Walmart. And, um, yeah, that's a bummer about these. Why didn't I check? You would think I would learn my lesson and check the expiration date on the clearance foods. I did on the corn. And I did on the candy and the, the canned things. But for some reason, I just completely forgot to check this one. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty old. These shouldn't be on the shelf at all. Shame on you, Walmart. <laughs> I'll take them back and then they'll probably get them all off the shelf. And if I don't take them back, they'll probably still be there next week. Because other people check the expiration dates. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna get off of here um, let's see if you haven't watched it yet instead of doing a crafty video I showed you my Halloween decorations my crafty videos usually come out on Friday nights now and sometimes they're really late in the evening because I kind of want to wait until the house gets quiet before I start crafting. You know, when Scott's already at work and Twyla's already gone to work and stuff. And that way, and I don't, it's not a tutorial. It's not a tutorial. We just, you know, do some crafting together while we chat. And I basically, I'm the one who's chatting. <laughs> But, you know, we just, it, it gives you guys, okay, there's a half hour, Lisa's doing some crafting, let's craft together. Or you can just sit back and just listen to me go ramble, ramble, ramble. <laughs> but if you haven't checked out Friday's, last Friday's video, I did not do any crafting, but I showed you my Halloween decorations instead. Um, one of them, I, two of them, I did make them by hand so you'll get to see that so it's kind of a crafty video but not but anyway i'm gonna get off of here everybody go and check out that um video and i guess i will talk to you later i hope you found lots of great stuff on clearance at your walmart don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up and leave me a comment you know i love to hear from each and every one of you bye